Hey, it's Patrick from the Garage Band Guide. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can reverse audio in Garage Band for Mac and then share a couple of interesting things that you can do with that reversed audio. Let's dive in. So before you get to reversing your audio, you need to make sure you are working with a real audio track. That's the blue one from the track selection menu. When you're ready to reverse your section of audio, open the editor window at the bottom of the GarageBand screen by clicking the editor button. That's the scissors icon in the top left of the GarageBand window. Next, select the region that you want to play in reverse. Once you've selected your region, head down to the editor window and in the bottom left of it there, select region and check the box for reverse playback. If that's all you came for, then thanks for watching. Make sure to click the like button on your way out. Otherwise, stick around and I'll show you a couple of neat ways that you can use reversed audio in your projects. A great way to add a bit of dynamic flair to your project is by adding a reversed cymbal hit before a chorus, breakdown or drop. GarageBand does have some great cymbal sounds in its loop library. I'll just choose this one. Now, with it selected, I want to go through the steps we just covered to reverse it. Now, if I place that reversed cymbal sound before the change in this project, here's how that sounds. It could maybe do with a bit of tweaking to get it just right, but I think you get the idea. You can also do something similar with vocals to add a little bit of character to them. We already have the So at the start of this vocal region, if I chop a bit of the start, Then copy the chopped bit and paste it in an empty space. Then again, go through the steps that we outlined at the start of the video to reverse that individual chopped out bit of vocal region. Where are you? Where are you? If I then drag this reversed vocal region so that it comes right up against the original vocal region, Here's how that sounds. Where are you? We are and I can add some effects and even some volume automation to get it sounding just right. We already have the answer. We already have the answer. We just need to. If you found this video helpful, then give that like button a little bit of a I really appreciate it. And if you're after more garage band tips and tricks, then give this video a watch as well. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.